We're at the knockout room here in Sunrise in Fort Lauderdale and one of the wrestling legends. This is amazing. Malia Osaka is here. What a performance. She's been here for the two shows they've had for the women's wrestling shows. These are all women's wrestling shows that they're having here at the knockout room. And what are your thoughts about what they're doing here with women's wrestling? Well, I think it's great. And, you know, women's wrestling is on the uprise again as wrestling and not just divas and TNA in the ring. So it's great that these younger girls have a place to come out and practice their craft, learn the art of it, and, and get interact with the fans. It's an amazing thing to have. But, um, you know... They also have like the, I believe the midgets wrestling and they have the men's wrestling. So they're they're doing a feature type of wrestling every uh, every week, every month, and they're trying to build it here. It's something new and it's a new promotion. And so coming on out, you get in the ground floor of it. You get to see all the characters develop. You get to see all the ro girls develop from you know some of them are, are rookies and just getting their foothold in. Others are like myself. They've been around for a while and you just get to watch them grow. And that's when you get to watch somebody grow over their years of experience. It's an amazing thing. What do you enjoy about doing this? You've been doing this since the 80s. Right, 30 and, years. <laughs> and you're still going really strong. Yeah. You're watching out there was yeah. great. Well, the you. fans were into it and yeah. all too. So just what keeps that passion going for you? The fans. Honestly, um, the fans gave me a career long before WCW or WWE ever knew I existed. Uh, the fans are the reason why I had a career in Florida. The fans are the reason why I got flown all over the world all the years that I did. So going out there and entertaining the fans is my number one thing. I want them to be sucked into what we are doing in the ring and just to spend believability for a little bit. You know, it, I know everybody thinks it's fake today, but I prefer the term fixed over fake. But my job is to entertain you, you know, and that's what I want to do is go out there and entertain you. And then pass down the knowledge that was handed to me. Hopefully some of the rookies can take the knowledge from, from myself that was given to me and, and mesh it into some of the new school things. So it's not completely lost. Who are some of those that you learned from? Leilani Kai, Judy Martin, Luna Vachon, Debbie Combs. I mean, you don't have that crop of women out there anymore. But the crop of women that are there today, I wish I had that talent pool to choose from in my day because it would have been an amazing thing to have. What do you think about how hot women's wrestling is today? And what do you credit to this surge in women's wrestling? So many are, so many, I see so many women that are training <laughs> to become wrestlers now. I, well, um, I think a, there's more women that are training to actually be wrestlers now um, for the true wrestling art of it. For a long time, I, and the, I think a lot of the girls that were training because of the diva look or whatever, they're starting to be weeded out a little bit more. Um, but honestly, I, I kind of accredit it to a generation of veterans whose daughters are now in the ring and they're not really okay with their daughters being objectified as TNA. Um, so women's wrestling is building a resurgence as respectable women's wrestling, as women who are out there as athletes. Yeah, they might be hot, they might be models, the, uh, different shapes, sizes, colors, backgrounds, everything, but it's about what you can do inside that ring now. When you were coming up in the ranks and you were training and getting into this and all, is there a difference in what you were to do then compared oh. to what it is you to do now? Absolutely. Um, my veterans were constantly slow down, slow down, slow down. Um, learn the art, learn how to tell the story, learn the craft, uh, learn when to do what, why you're going to do it. Um, it's not always about quantity as it is quality. You know. Uh, I mean, again, you watch some of the old stuff, and I know the newer fans are like, oh, it's so boring because they're just in an arm lock, or they're just doing this, and they're not flying all over the place. But to me, that was wrestling. That's entertainment. Like, when you can suck me in and get me going, get up, get up, get up, and I'm in the business, I think that's an amazing performer and a, a true talent. And, you know, just because you made me forget that you were just out there performing. Um... And then, you know, today a lot of it's about high flying and how much you can get in in five minutes. And I've always got to get my stuff in. And, and there's no, to me, true heels anymore. Like, nobody wants to go out there and have the fans hate them. And if they do go out there and get them to hate them, then five minutes later they're all over social media being great. How, oh, yeah, thank you, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm thankful for my fans. But my job out there is to make you hate me. And if I make you hate me and walk away saying I'm the biggest bee in the world then I have done my job well. So for everyone out there that's on the board saying, I'm too old, I need to get out of the ring, I'm past my day, I'm past my prime, let the rookies have it, thank you because I have done my job and I have made you hate me. Going on that hate theme, I'm um, gonna wrap it up with this. So you get in the ring tonight and you 
spin at either the referee or the ring announcer. Yeah. And we're just wondering, <laughs> were you spinning at Randy Eller or were you spinning at ring announcer Dan spinning Evans? spinning at Randy Eller. He's wearing my colors. A referee is supposed to be in black and white, not black and red. Does he not, not, has he never seen a zebra? Really? Come on. You want to keep order in the ring? Wear the right colors. Thank you, Malia.